She's a sweet lady. She's like literally in love with this person. Yeah. Anyone could be manipulated on social media. Especially yeah. now we've got you've got older people who are using social media as much as us. Yeah. But they don't have the same online literacy skills as us because they didn't grow up with the internet. Mm -hmm. It could be any of our moms. Living their best life. I know. Yeah. This is nice, isn't it? Very cutesy. Hot. Okay. So, we got Helen. Helen is 51, she's from Brighton, and for the past three months, she's been in a relationship, according to her knowledge, with George Ezra, the pop star. Mm -hmm. George has been great for her. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole interaction with him has given her a confidence back, her self esteem back. Her daughter, Jessie, gets in contact. She's worried about her mom. She's tried to tell her this is a catfish. Helen doesn't even know what a catfish is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she feels like Helen's kind of in a very vulnerable position. Exactly. And that we need to figure out exactly what's going on. Listen, the answers to all our questions are on the other side of this investigation we're about to do. Yeah, let's so do how it. how about we get started? Let's yeah? see if we got an email. Right, so we've got an email here. It is from Helen. Hi, guys. It was a pleasure to meet you yesterday. Thank you so much for agreeing to help me. Please find below what I hope will help you with your investigation. This is the email address George and I communicate through. Also, this is the profile he contacted me from, but unfortunately, it's no longer active. What? If you need anything else, please feel free to give me a call. She left us her number and said thank you. We should just Google the whole email address and see what other accounts it's linked to. Yeah. George Ezra at gmail.com. It's showing up like no one has this email address. That's just a dead end. So how about we just click on the link of the Facebook account that she sent and just see what comes up? Yeah. Look at this. No workplaces to show, no schools or universities to show, not even a display picture. This guy's a ghost. I mean, she did say that the account is no longer active. Because it was created just to speak to her. I think so, yeah. Should we just have a look at his official Facebook page and yeah. just like see his like ecosystem of George Ezra fans? 846,000 followers. I wonder if there's anyone who's literally posted on their Facebook about being catfished by him. Oh, try typing George Ezra love scam. Yeah. What's this? It's a post on Facebook. OK. This is actually official George Ezra. <gasps> look, 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 He's a, it's a scam. There's people impersonate me on social media. Oh, my days. Through fake profiles set up in my name. My account has a verified tick right. attached and it's the only account you were able to hear from me on. Who posted this in 2019? He's literally saying the exact thing that happened to Helen. Yeah. I, I would not ever contact you in that way. That is mad. And look at the comments. I was having a jolly time chatting with you until you asked me to send you an iTunes card. Oh, my days. Wow. Yes, George, I learned that a couple of months ago. Thought I was chatting to you till they asked me for my private email. There are so many stories of people pretending to be George Ezra and trying to scam. Maybe it's worth us checking in with Helen and asking her whether her George has ever asked her for money. Yeah, definitely. OK. Uh, hello. Hi, Helen. How's hi. it going? Hey, hi, guys. We have one question that we just wanted to ask you just really quickly that might that I think we should have asked you yesterday. Um, okay. Has has George ever kind of brought up the subject money with you? Money. No, George has never asked me for money or mentioned money. Okay. About six weeks ago. His mother asked me for money, but that was because I had asked George if we could meet up. He said that we had to meet officially, so it didn't arouse any suspicion. 
he said the best way to do it was to do a meet and greet through the official um, protocols. So he sent me his manager's email, said get in touch with him, so I emailed him. And then he replied that a VIP meet and greet would cost £5,000. Wow. So the manager said, if you want to meet George, you've got to pay £5,000. Yeah, he said that was to include the flights, the hotel and the ticket. But seriously, at that point, I thought, oh, whoa. Yeah. I'm certainly not paying £5,000. Have you spoken to George at all recently, like, since we've left you? Yeah, of course I have. So, like, nothing has changed between you guys' conversations? No, we had a bad patch when I didn't follow through on the meet. Uh, and he was really upset, but we went through it. From the one side, you've got the manager asking you for money, and then the other side, yeah. you've got George kind of being very em emotional and kind of... Yeah, really wanting to see me and saying, come on, babe, I'm desperate to see you. I really want to see you. Yeah, OK. Thank you, Helen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brunella. OK. Bye. Bye. It's literally like the most disgusting, depressing behaviour, preying like, on someone like her. Like, this is literally the first guy that she's fallen in love with in 20 years. That's crazy. One positive is that at least she didn't actually send him any money. This feels a little bit like we need some sort of expert guidance on this, because I feel like we're beginning to get out of our depth. This is not just about Helen. I feel like it's bigger than Helen. This stuff is, like, properly dark. 